Hello everyone. We have here today a problem of plastic section modulus. We are asked to calculate the plastic section modulus of the given shape about the x axis. It's a beam as we can see. And we have solved a few problems with this particular beam. Along that line, we want to solve for the, the plastic section modulus. And one thing we need to realize about plastic section modulus is the fact that the area about, is about an axis must be equal on both sides. So if this is our axis, the area on the top must be equal to the area on the bottom. But in this particular uh, case, in this particular beam, it is not so because the centroid along the y-axis, as we can see, is higher than the top. Not only that, the area of the bottom section is less than the area of the top section. And so you want to find a situation where a point along the y-axis that divide this beam equally in area. And uh, from my previous exercise on these, I realized that that location will be 8.5. And that will be 4.5 inches, inches. All right. So, if you find the area using this value of the top section, you will realize that this top section, the area of this top section, will be the same with the bottom section. So let's let's check that out. So we know that the area of the top rectangle is five inches square. The area of the top rectangle was, is five. Okay. Now let's assume we, we don't have this value yet, but we know the area, the total area of the shape, the area of the beam is 14 inches Square, all right, because this is five plus six, that is eleven plus three, that's fourteen. So we have that. So if you divide that into two, you are going to have seven. So out of that seven, the area of the top section is uh, seven minus 5 that will be 2 inches square so this is 5 inches square so whatever you have left here is 2 inches square but you know the width I mean you know the uh, the, w, the, w, the web of this beam as 0 0.5 so you said 2 inches Two square inches divided by zero point five. So that will give you four inches. So that means what you need in this section to make the area above and the area on the bottom the same is four inches. And that's how we came about this four point five. So this is five this is point five of an inch. And since we already calculated this four four inches so when you add those both together that's how we came about 4.5 and so if you do the area five if you do the calculation for the area you are going to have five inches square plus four inches Multiply by 0 0.5 inches, 
that is 0 0.5 inches multiplied by 5 inches so that's going to give you 7 inches square and so when you multiply when you deduct the 7 inches square from this here you are going to have 7 inches square left which is the area of the bottom so your centroid for calculating your plastic section modulus has to be at that location at that point that divide the beam equally in area from from top and bottom and so we find that already and that's what we see here so now let's go to our section modulus about the x-axis now unlike the previous uh, a solution with the uh, problem we solved regarding the, the elastic section modulus where you just divide the moment of inertia by the centroid along the y-axis either from the bottom or from the top this is a little different okay and so we're going to go through it uh, carefully so the, this uh, Plastic section modulus um, is going to use the area of each section and reference each to the centroid, the centroid of the shape where it is equally divided. So let's start. So we know the area of the top of the top rectangle as five. Okay. Now what is the distance between the center of this height of this 0 0.5 height and the centroid here if you look at that from here to here so we know this is 4.5 we know this is 0 0.5 divided to 2 that's 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 from 4.5 so this value here is going to be 4.25 okay so you multiply this by 4.25 all right now plus this shape is 12 inches so when you divide 12 into 2 it's going to be 6 All right, so this is six. Now, from the bottom, you deduct this half inch, half inch from this value, that becomes eight. And then the center of this six inch, this six inch section, The center of that is three inches somewhere here. All right, it's not to scale. So minus from 8.5 minus this flange, you are left with eight inches to this point. And then from that, you minus three inches from here. This is six inches. So you minus six inches from this eight, that is left so you have five inches left so that means from here to here is five inches okay five inches and then you do the same thing from the from the top the same process this is 4.5 you minus the height of the flange which is half inches so you are left with four inches the four inches this is our, our six six inch mark so this also is six inches so you divide that six inch into two so two equal parts so let's see this right here somewhere here okay so that's three inches here okay three inches so you minus this the height of the flange which is 0 0.5 so 
so you are left with four inches and then you minus half of this section here which is three inches so you have four inches minus three inches so you are left with uh, one inches uh, so your one inches is somewhere here this is not to scale mind you so okay so that's one inches so from the center of this section of half of the section here let me uh, hash it out okay from the center of this lower half to the centroid that divide this whole beam into equal area on the top and bottom we have five inches so and we know the area of that half section and from on the top section from the centroid of the entire shape to the cent to the center of half of the web of the beam is also is one inches and we know that area of that half section is three inches squared so it's three multiplied by that one okay plus we know the same area this area is also three multiplied by five okay one more to go so from the center of the lower flange to the centroid we have a lot of dotted line just follow it carefully so this is 8.5 the height of this lower flange is 0 0.5 when you divide that into 2 that is 0 0.25 when you minus the 0 0.25 from 8.5 you are going to have 8.25 and then the area of this lower flank is 3 inches square. So it's 3 multiplied by 8.25. All right. So that is your, that's how it comes out. So when you do the calculation, when you do that maths, you are going to arrive at 64 inches to the third power so that is your plastic section models about the x-axis all right it takes a careful look it's a little more complex than the elastic section model we dealt with earlier you have to pay a little more attention to this there's a formula that can help you out uh, I will, in my next video, I will provide that formula. I will probably solve another problem of, this, of a similar uh, situation. Yes, so, so go, go, go over this carefully again, and I'm sure you'll be able to get it. Thanks for joining us. Please stay tuned.